All right, so we're talking about direct variation, and direct variation will be in the form y equals kx, and you would say it as y varies directly with x. So if you see this in a problem situation, y varies directly with x, they're talking about direct variation. And it's always true in this case that as x increases, y will increase. So with that said, notice that this is just a linear equation, y equals kx, where k would be in place of your slope, and the y-intercept would be zero. Okay, the y-intercept is not listed here, so it is implied to be zero. We are going to use k as the constant of variation, that's what it's called, but realize it's just the same as the slope and all the other lines that we've worked with. Okay, inverse variation, we're not talking about that at this time. Okay, so now this section. Tell whether each represents direct variation, and then I marked out inverse variation or neither. We're just looking at, is this direct variation? So I'm going to go through these six examples, and then we'll stop for a minute and I'll let you ask questions. So y equals 14 over x. This is not... So we'll just say not. Because we're dividing by x, divide by x. We want to know why it's not. So it's because we're dividing by x. For direct variation, we cannot be dividing by x. We need x to be multiplied by, not divided by. So this would be not direct variation because we're dividing by x. Example two is because we could also, x over 14, we could rewrite that as y equals 1 14th x. So that is direct variation. It's in the form y equals kx, and we want to be able to identify the k, the constant of variation. So that would be k equals 1 14th in this case. So I want you to write that down. You want to be able to identify that constant of variation. The y intercept is 0, so all the rules are satisfied to make that one direct variation. Okay, on 3, x, y equals 4, before we can tell, just like when we are graphing lines, we have to get y by itself. So I'll divide by x here, divide by x here. We get y equals 4 divided by x. And just like example 1, this is not direct variation because we are dividing by x. So not, and we want to know why, because we're dividing by x, divide by x. It's not okay to divide by x. We want to be multiplying by x. Okay, example four, we have y over two equals x. Same as always, we need y by itself. So I'm dividing y by two, so I do the opposite. Multiply by two on both sides and I get y equals two x. This would be a yes, and my k value is two. And I need to go back up here. This one was a yes, and this one's a yes. If it is a yes, I want you to always identify the constant of variation, k equals 2. All right, example 5 here, y equals 2x plus 3. y is by itself. I am multiplying by x here, but I have a problem. My y-intercept is not 0. My y-intercept is 3, so this is not. And the reason is the b, or we use b, y equals mx plus b, or we could say y-intercept equals 3. Y-intercept must be zero to be direct variation. All right, and then the last one here, 2y equals x. As always, I need to get y by itself. So I divide by 2 and I get y equals x over 2. We also can write that y equals 1 half x. That is a yes. The y-intercept is zero and x is being multiplied by. And my k value is 1 half. So yes on that one. Okay, and problem nine here we have if y varies directly with x. So you notice that vocabulary there. That means direct variation when you see this. Y varies directly with x. When x is 6, y is 3. Find x when y is 1. So what we have to do is go back to our original definition of direct variation, and that was in the form y equals kx. It's always in that form. So now we fill in what we know. We know that x is 6, we know y is 3. So 3 equals k times 6. So we solve for what we're missing. 
Well, the k is what we don't know, so we're going to solve for that. So we would divide by 6, and we would get k equals 3 over 6, which would reduce to 1 half. So k is 1 half. That's step 1. We've identified what k is. Now we can write our direct variation equation, which would be y equals kx, right? So k is 1 half. We found it to be 1 half, so y equals 1 half x. Once we know that, then we use this second statement to figure out our answer. So it says find x when y is 1. So fill in what we know. We know y is 1, and we found k to be 1 half, so fill in uh, 1 for y. So 1 equals 1 half x. So we can divide by 1 half here to get x by itself, or multiply by 2, same thing. So I'll just multiply by 2 here. That will cancel. We get x equals 2. So when x, uh, when y is 1, x is 2. So that ordered pair would be 2, 1. But this answers the question. We wanted to find what is x when y is 1. x is 2. All right, next one. Same type of problem. If y varies directly with x, so that vocabulary is important, y varies directly with x. We know it's in this form. y equals kx. When x is 8 and y is 48, find y when x is 4. Okay, so step one, we take this early information here and plug it in to solve for k. So y is 48. k is what we're solving for first. x is 8, so we'll replace that there. We want to solve for k, so divide by 8 on both sides. k is equal to 6. So now we know our direct variation equation is y equals 6x. Again, it's in this form, y equals kx, and we just found k to be 6, so we plug that in right there. Now we t uh, use the second bit of information here to find what they want us to find. So find y when x is 4. Okay, so we're going to take 4 for x, plug it in right there, work it out, and we'll be done. So y equals 6 times x is 4, so y equals 24. So when x is 4, y is 24. So ordered pair would be 4, 24. And that's it for those examples.